Good everyone, how are you? It's Om here from Craft Lab NZ and welcome back to another Harakiki tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make a beautiful little flax caterpillar. Now the cool thing about this caterpillar is you can actually make it from the scraps of the other projects that you make out of flax. So we're going to get into it again today, working with Harakiki, making sure that we follow that tikanga and that we look at that protocol behind the whole harvesting process. So all we're going to need here is a couple of scraps. So I'll show you what we need. So what we've got here is I've got two pieces of harakiki that I've split apart and these are the same size. So all I'm going to do here is with both of these pieces, I'm actually going to fold them towards me. So if I have the both, both ends here like so, so not very far up, I'm just going to get both of these ends and you can see I'm going to fold them towards me like that. So what's going to happen is one of the pieces is just going to go through and it's going to slide and it's just going to come under the other little piece just like so. A few tutorials ago we've made this beautiful crown, similar style where you actually get to piece it together. So if you haven't seen that tutorial on that beautiful crown, definitely check it out. So I've got this little piece here just like so. One piece is slid in through here and it's just sitting there. Now all I'm going to do is with this piece that it slid through here, I'm just going to bend that here so I've got a nice little sharp edge that I can thread and all I'm going to do is this little piece is going to get threaded up through that little piece coming across. Now I'm going to pull that nice and tight just like so and then once I've done that with this piece here I'm going to pull that nice and tight. So that's the beginning. So you'll see now I've got a ginormous big loop here and now with the other piece on the other side, I'm going to fold it, do a little bend, slip that through there. I'm going to pull that nice and tight all the way through like so. And then now to lock it in place, I'm just going to pull this piece down. So we'll keep going. Now that I've made a loop here, I'm going to use this piece here is going to come up. Just like so. Now, as we get higher up this beautiful little pattern, now look at this pattern. As we get higher up and the flax gets nice and soft, it actually becomes easier to do. So a suggestion could be, if we're making this, we could actually get rid of some of that bottom section here, which is quite thick, and maybe start with some of that fine piece. So keeping on going just like this. And I'm going to keep going until I almost run out. Okay, so now we're getting to the end and we've still got a little bit of this left, but it's starting to get a little bit frayed. So all I'm going to do here is my very last move, this piece here, is going to come, going to be folded again, it's going to come up through here, but this time I'm going to pull the whole lot through, and then to lock it I'm going to pull that down just like so. So now you can see that I've locked that top bit off, and there's no real rules about how we're going to do this, and all I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab these two pieces here, I'm going to tie them in an overhand knot, so some sort of knot that I'm just going to tie it together nice and tight just like so. So normally these ends here will end up being the little antennae. So once I've done that, I'm now going to go back down to the beginning where I begun here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to get these two and I'm going to tie them in a really, really tight knot. So I'd suggest maybe doing a reef knot. So just like so, pull it really, really tight one way, really tight the other way, just like so. So now I've got this tied off, now I can do some trimming. 
So when it comes to trimming it up, that's where you can actually really make it look like a little bit of a caterpillar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this bottom bit here, because I don't need that, but this top bit here, I reckon if I was to snip it down on a bit of an angle, so come down there, and then come back up here, I reckon I can almost make that so it kind of looks like a little tail. And then up the top here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide to trim off some of this top antenna. And if I give that a little snip like so, now I've kind of started to create these beautiful little antenna. So what I might need to do is I might need to wiggle them and squiggle them around a little bit like so. And after a while, and after a little bit of a trim, you'll actually start to see this beautiful, beautiful little caterpillar appear. Now, I love making these, and I love putting them, you can actually just sit them on the top of a tree branch. Or another little tip is, if you were to get another little piece of scrap of flax, and you were to tie a little scrap of flax around this, so you can hold it whilst it's drying, or you could even get a little stick, a little round stick, and tie it around. You can actually, as it dries, you can make sure it dries in that beautiful, beautiful shape. So that's how you make a most beautiful little flax caterpillar. Really, really awesome. So, good luck with your project. I'm on from Craft Lab NZ. Kaki thing.